Well, today we learned the sad news that longtime Chattanooga anchorman Bob Johnson passed away at the age of 73 after a long battle with Parkinson's disease. Bob delivered the news each evening on Channel 9 for 32 years with professionalism, class, and personality. He was a great friend and a giant in local broadcasting. From 1975 to 2007, Bob Johnson was a welcome presence in Tennessee Valley living rooms. In the news tonight, a Chattanooga man has been sentenced to life in prison. A lifelong broadcaster who started in radio, Bob was a natural. He had the voice, the communication skills, and he was a brilliant writer. Bob Johnson, and yes, that was his real name, started out in radio as a teen, and he was a singer in a rock and roll band in his hometown of Marietta, Georgia. After attending the University of Georgia, he got into TV in Atlanta and South Carolina, and by 1975, he was ready to settle down. He applied for a news anchor position at WTVC in Chattanooga, remaining there for 32 years. Coming up tonight at 5.30 on First News, meet the Central High School class of 1937. Alongside Daryl Patterson and Don Welch, he lifted Channel 9 out of third place in the local ratings and later formed a successful anchor team with the late Mary Ellen Loker. For decades, he wrote and produced the Wednesday's Child series, helping connect hundreds of children with big brothers, big sisters, and other mentors. I've had the opportunity to grow in my career and learn a lot, to travel places I would have never been able to travel, to meet people I would have never been able to meet. And then I'm visited by an unwanted visitor recently called Parkinson's. It's hampering my efforts to do my job. I hope I'm able to return very soon. Parkinson's disease forced him to retire early in 2007, but he still enjoyed seeing his fans and reminiscing with old radio and TV friends. Bob will be remembered for making a difficult job look easy and for his authoritative, commanding presence at the news desk. His friends will remember a gentle giant with an abundance of talent, plenty of stories to tell, and great appreciation for those who counted on him for the news every day. And I thought at this point in my life I need to start concentrating on having good health. Mm -hmm. So I chose to say, well, I think I'll hang up the old IFB on the wall. and <laughs> That's the earpiece, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Put the mic down and ride off into the western sunset for a while and take it easy. So many people have been so supportive with the cards and letters and phone calls and so forth. And I really appreciate it. I kept them all and I keep them all right here, always. Bob Johnson was inducted into the Tennessee Journalism Hall of Fame in 2014. We were honored to have him as our competition because he forced us to be better. Our relationship was one of great friendship and mutual respect. Thank you, Bob, for being a positive force in our community. We'll be right back.